the usual breakfast. I had a lucid dream last night. During the dream, you realize that you're dreaming, and so you're able to control what happens in the dream. I used to have lucid dreams all the time in college, like that's the only kind of dream I had. And so in college, my dreams always took place in two places, Hawaii and Disneyland. And so today I actually did have a Disneyland dream again. I dreamt that I was in California Adventure again. It was awesome. But because of that, I ended up waking up super late. I one time I had an Inception dream at Disneyland where I would dreamt that I was dreaming. And if you don't remember your dream, and you think, oh, I never dream. Why don't I ever dream? You actually are, You everyone dreams. It's just only way you can ever remember your dream or notice that you're dreaming is if you wake up within one minute of the dream when you're dreaming or if you wake up during the dream. Otherwise, you won't remember it. Just a random fact for the day. Hey, what's up? I'm driving over now to go to uh, my friend Chris's gym. We always play tennis together. He was like, do you want to just come to my gym? And I was like, well, I'll try it out. So, driving over to Mountain View. This one is for Titi, Tweety, Viola, Sharika, Candice, Timby, Lauren, Aisha. Hey yo, what's up? So, just finished working out at that gym. Unfortunately, they didn't really let me film. They kind of got angry at me right when I started filming, so I just stopped. But did you see that thing on all the machines? That was pretty cool. What that does is you just like type in your code into each machine that you do, and it counts how long, how many reps, and how much weight you did. And it only counts the reps that are actually like full range of motion, which is pretty cool. So it can tell you what you did for the day. It's on like every single machine. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, ain't no mother bridge. Ain't no mother hook. Ain't no mother third. First, Roman's back. I took your life at the time. Remember that? Remember that? Remember that? I'm back. I was like, how come my cookies get keep going lower and lower? And I realized it's probably Aaron's been eating them. He's been stealing them. With the cookie taste test, I think that for the chocolate chip cookies, the Pillsbury ones win versus the Nestle Toll House ones. Gotta drink my protein shake now. Okay, I think this yogurt tastes so good. Noosa yogurt, the honey flavor is like the best one too. Mmm. It's kind of like Greek yogurt. My friend Bernard, he just got a puppy, a schnauzer. He's bringing her over. Look, it's Tessa. She's a schnauzer? Yeah. There's Bernard, by the way. Yo. <laughs> They're doing like a cooking show here or something. Check it out. There's like so many people here. Hey, what's up? Bernard's getting all this attention. Thank you. She's a mini schnauzer, but she didn't have her tail off. No, no. Oh, that's so cute. I have a mini schnauzer too. We just got tested to pee in Bentley's pee spot. <laughs> Yay! Look at this car. Like, the wheels are so tall. <laughs> Look at all the bulbs. The tulip bulbs. I learned about this in college. I took such random classes. You know how to get them to bloom? You gotta put them in the um, in the freezer for like three weeks and then you, when you take them out, they'll bloom because they think it's like winter time. Uh -huh. It's called bulb forcing. Uh -huh. So if you want them in the summertime or whatever, then you put them in the freezer. Look! <gasps> Yay! Go! Go! So when the puppy was here, I was trying to get the puppy to pull one side and Bentley to pull the other side. It didn't work. It didn't happen. Stay. No. Stay. I'm going to throw it into her mouth. Let's see if she can catch it. It's a huge piece. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess not. Oh. Maybe like half of it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I forgot. That is kind of big for her. Oh, well. Oh, well. I guess she's handling it. <laughs> oh. Is that what that's for? No. Oh, I was like... I'm just holding it there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, she likes you. Bye, Tessa. Thanks for visiting. Say bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
driving over to a pizza making party. Should be pretty cool. See you guys there. This is what the final pizza is supposed to look like. Do it back and forth, make sure it's like. Yay. Eight minutes per pizza. Restaurant pizza. Look at that pizza there. Mm. Dorito taco pizza. <laughs> Look at that movie screen there. What? <gasps> hey, Bentley. What's up? Did you smell anything different about your bed? <laughs> about your toys? No? Check it out, late night bagel bites. Just like Jesse says, <laughs> late night bagel bites on. Late night bagel bite for Bentley? What? Oh, <gasps> Bentley's bagel bites? Oh, do you want another one, Bentley? Stay. Okay, go. So guess which movie Bentley and I just saw. Bentley, can you tell them what we just saw? What movie did we just watch? Breaking Dawn Part 2. Bentley was listening to all the wolf noises and like, what? Where's the dog? I thought that I would give my really quick review on the Twilight series Breaking Dawn Part 2. I am not a Twilight fan, I'm sorry to say. Aaron is. He read all the books too. <laughs> I've seen all the movies now. My favorite one, and favorite is an incredibly loose term because the one that I like the most I gave two stars to, which was New Moon. I thought that one was just bearable. Part one and part two were so drawn out, especially since nothing happens. I was kind of sad that Bill Condon, the director, he's like such a good director. He's directed many really, really good movies that are like nominated for Academy Awards. But it just goes to show that even with the best director, you can't make a good Twilight movie. None of the characters were very well fleshed out. You don't really learn anything about Bella and Edward's uh, child. Pretty much no story at all. Basically, it is a misunderstanding, and that's what the whole movie is based off of. I'd have to say there was a twist, which I had to actually look online to be like, what was the twist? Because when I watched the movie, it wasn't blatantly obvious what they changed. Oh, okay. During the movie, when that scene occurred, I did like the movie a little bit more. I'm sorry if you liked it, but I think that if you are a Twilight fan, I think that you really deserved a better movie. My final review out of four stars for Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2 is... One and a half stars. Right, Bentley? Is that what you give it? Yeah? I have died every day waiting for you. I've loved you for a thousand years. Bentley for a thousand more. Whenever I turn on my camera now, it makes a little beeping noise, and every single time I do that, Bentley's like, oh, what? What's gonna happen? Because he knows every single time I start filming him, I'm gonna do something to him or give him something. So he gets so, look, he's like perked up. Do you wanna go potty? Potty? Yeah? Are you t Aaron played with him at the beach. I think he got a little hurt and tired, so. You, pl you play too hard, Bentley. But I guess you're okay to go, go potty, huh? Yeah, look, now he's walking fine. Did you find your potty spot? Check out these oddies here. Look at that one. And look at this one right here. Wow, Bentley. He's like, don't film me while I pee. I don't want that. Bentley's favorite spot behind the movie theater. <laughs> what happens if everyone needs to exit the building? They're all gonna see you pee, Bentley. Such a good dog. He lets me know when he's done. He just like comes back to me. He's like, I'm ready to go. And he lets me put on his leash. Okay guys, it's getting super late. So I'm gonna head to bed. Let's say good night to Bentley. Good night, Bentley. I hope you feel better. Good night, guys. Oh, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Yeah. Go. Look, Bentley has a new friend. <laughs> he just collapsed on the ground. What? We gotta build up your stamina. So you can Pokemon battle. Do a Pokemon battle. Hey!